What's going on traders? Welcome back to Gorilla Futures. My name is Patrick and thank you for watching today. Now by the title of this video, we're going to take a look at indicators for day trading. More specifically, we're going to take a look at three indicators that you should be using if you are day trading. Now all these indicators will be used in conjunction with price action. So if you don't know what price action is, price action is literally just the way that price moves and there's certain signals and ways that it moves that we can use in our benefit as traders to take and place trades on the market. Now, if you do have any questions about this, there will be a link right up above. Click that, become a Gorilla Futures member and get access to all this information. Now, these three indicators will be standard on almost all charting platforms. Now, in this video, we will be using the Ninja Trader platform like we do in all of our videos. These are free indicators and they are very simple. And the reason why we like these indicators are they're simple, they're straightforward, and we don't have to worry exactly what they're doing. It's straightforward. If the high says it's the high, then it is the high. So what indicators are we using exactly? Well, we're gonna use a 21 EMA, we are going to use an open high low close indicator, and we are going to use a previous close indicator to show us the close of yesterday. Now let's take a look at how we can use these indicators and how we can set these up on your charts. Let's take a look. Let's set up our indicators for day trading. But first off, you're going to need to set up your data. I personally like to trade off of the New York data. So to do that in NinjaTrader, we'll come down here, we'll right click, go to data series. From there, we'll come over to trading hours and select CME US index futures regular trading hours. So the regular trading hours are the New York session hours and that's what I personally like to trade. I also keep a chart up of the regular trading hours and the electric trading hours or the TETH hours as well. It's always good to just have some reference points as well. So once you're done with that, hit apply and we can start setting up our indicators. Now these are all free indicators that come with NinjaTrader and if you're using any other platforms, I'm sure that they come with these. These are very standard and basic indicators. There's not gonna be any crazy holy grail indicators here. So first off, we're gonna right click and go to indicators. Again, this might be different on your charting platform, but go to where your indicators are. We are going to scroll all the way down to the prior open high low close. Now for this one, we're going to double click come over here we're not going to use the high the low or the open now if you would like to change the color of the prior close or if you want to change up the dash make it a solid line whatever you prefer that will be done here down done down here you just expand this and then you can change this I will leave this alone and we're gonna hit apply next we are going to go up to our current day open high low Again, if you would like to change any of these settings, they're gonna be just right down here. All you do, need to do is expand. You can change the colors, the size, um, the dash style. All that is done down here. We'll hit apply, and that will throw this up on the chart. And then last but not least, we are going to go and add an EMA. So we're going to come over to EMA, select 21, and then I do like to make my EMA just a little bit larger. So I'm going to go down to a two. We're going to hit apply and everything will pop up on the chart. Now let's walk through how we use these every single day. Well, we can see that today is August 10th. And coming over here, we can see that price opened up at 33.50 at 9.30 this morning. From there, it moved up and it made a high. So the current day high is 33.55. And we can also come down here to this red line and we can see that price has stair-stepped its way down and our current low is 33.28. Now going back to our previous day close, we can also see that right here as this purple line at 33.45. Now, of course, we have our 21 EMA here in yellow or gold. So how do we use all of these indicators to find trades and find levels? Well, it's simple. Every single day, we simply zoom out our charts and look to see what levels and what price is doing. So if we zoom all the way out, and I understand you won't be able to see every single candle here, but 
just by looking at this you can see that our lows are getting higher pretty much every single day and if we even come down here we can see that our lows continue to get higher so right there that should signify to you or signal to you that we are making higher lows almost every single day so it really wouldn't make sense to take any short positions and hoping price would sell off because we are making higher lows almost every single day so what we can do is in the morning and we do this every single morning in our live daily analysis um, in gorilla futures now if you do decide to become a member you will get access to this every single day but what we do is we go back and we look at the previous day's levels so we come back and we can see the low so we can say that we do have a support level right around 3322 we can also say that we open the day and we also have support right here at this 3331 level and you can see this morning we came down and touched that level almost to the tick nice fake out right here and there's a nice three-point turn those of you who are gorilla futures members will know exactly what that setup is now we can also see that the close so this would be friday this is a monday right here so the close going back from friday or excuse me going back to thursday has been holding as support so it did act as resistance then you can see we opened up we broke down you could call this a failed breakout and now at the current moment we are finding support at this 3345 level same goes with our highs or our previous day highs we had a previous day high and again this these numbers are all during the new york session we had highs around 3346 well we can see that we found support here failed breakout and now we're finding support again and even look right here as we're talking this is developing and we're finding support right at this 3347 level so every single day we go we make sure our charts are set up like this and we can look at the previous day levels we always look at these levels to find where our targets are so for example when price came down here we knew that if we did turn bullish one of our main targets would be the close of yesterday at 3345 now what do we use the 21 EMA for the 21 EMA is just simply a reminder that we always try to trade with the EMA now we do like to take trades close to the EMA but we can see that up here the EMA has gone flat and even though price is extremely close we don't want to take any trades off of a flat EMA so the EMA kind of does a few things it sometimes shows us signals we know that we don't take every single signal off the EMA because right here you can see it's flat a lot of times when we have these flat EMAs it doesn't work out and we end up having a losing trade or where we get stuck in this chop and it helps us see the overall trend you can see that it trends very nicely and we like to trade in line with our 21 EMA now we do use a few other EMAs for the higher time frame but for the most part we use the 21 EMA on an intraday time frame to kind of show us these trends and let us know exactly what we should be doing so take for example this morning we took a short position right here around this 3338 level and we went short well we wouldn't have taken this long because we were under our EMA so those of you in the chat room you will have seen that trade that we posted but we always like to trade in line with this 21 EMA so a quick recap on what these indicators are and how to use them we are using the open high low close indicator and the current day open indicator as well this shows us the levels that we should be looking for shooting for and what price is doing it is a great visual indicator and the best reason or the best kind of reason why we use these indicators is because there's no lagging when price makes a new high we immediately move up there we're not waiting for a crossover we're not waiting for an EMA we're not waiting for anything special like that to enter our special holy grail indicators it's simply levels that price is respecting and it's simply levels that we can look to take longs and shorts off of it's very cut and dry there's no oh this happened I gotta do this it's very simple when price comes down here and makes a new low at this 3329 there is no denying that our low is 3329 and same goes for a high there is no denying that our current day high is 
3355. Now if you use a MACD or a VWAF, there's always a little bit of discretion in there. When we use these indicators, there are no discretion in here. We know that price opened up right here at 3350. We closed yesterday at 3345. That is why these are the best indicators to use on a daily time frame. Now yes, you could use an RSI or a VWAP and all those indicators do have a kind of a place and a purpose and it can be great at times. But for those of you that have been trading with us for a little while and for those of you who are Gorilla Futures members, we've been talking that the past few weeks price has gotten extremely slow, extremely choppy. So these fancy indicators that work really well in a trending environment aren't working so good in an environment like this. That's why these indicators work on all time frames, all environments, and all the time. And these are all the indicators that we use. Now this is the free version. There is a little bit fancier um, paid version. But for those of you who are just starting and even those of you who have been trading for a while, you'll know that these indicators will work great. So as always, thank you for watching. Please don't get caught up in trying to find a holy grail indicator. There's no such thing out there. Stick with the basics. These open high low closes and a basic EMA is really all you need. Don't clutter your charts up with tons of indicators, all these moving averages, just keep it simple. For those of you who are Gorilla Futures members will know that we follow the KISS acronym keep it super simple and that's what trading is all about if you have tons of indicators on here all you're going to do is um, make your charts messy and you won't be able to easily understand what's going on so thank you for watching please hit that like and subscribe button it really does mean a lot and as always if you have any questions need any help comment down below and we'll do our best to help you out thank you for watching and the best of luck when it comes to trading